Hey everyone, welcome back. So in previous video, we demonstrated a technical walkthrough of how to wire together a Streamly application backed by AWS Kendra, which is a system that help you rank documents based on the questions that you ask. So I thought in this video, we walk through a couple of use cases to see how this system is working, if it's good, if it's bad, Let's check out a couple of experiments. So with that being said, let's turn our attention to the screen. So on the left hand side, I have the user interface. Uh, this is a text box that you can enter any questions you want. On the right hand side, I have a couple of documents open. Now, of course, I already wired the system together. So I know that these documents are all up there in a server. Now, let's just try to check out a couple of the examples. Uh, the first example is, let's say I can remember taxi cab example, but I don't really know which document is it coming from. Is it come from questions L6, L9? Where does it come from the practice midterms or finals? So on and so forth, right? So all I got to do is put that there, enter into this text box, hit submit, and then it's able to give me some sort of tabular output. And as you can see here, it says L6, L9 plus answers.pdf, and that is the correct location. And then specifically, uh, we can try to read off this context a little bit, see if that's even correct. And then uh, here it says, hey, problem one, consider the taxi cab example from class. Suppose that the market demand is increasing to P of Q. This is 1.9, this is 1.2, Q 100,000. Uh, so that's what's written here. Now, of course, this is a special symbol, so it didn't actually render that correctly, uh, but that's okay, right? We found where the problem is just by looking up the keywords. Uh, we know it's problem one, we know that's the name of a document, and then boom, that's a use case. So I will say uh, this helps me find that document successfully in this particular experiment. Uh, but of course, let's try a couple of more experiments. So I could come down here. Uh, let me check out the, a little bit more complicated ones. Uh, let's say demand elasticity of gasoline is 0 0.5. Let's say that's the only thing I memorize. I remember, and I want to know where that sentence is coming from amongst all these documents. Here, boom, that's the result. Let's go in here, take a look. That's the right place. Uh, let's see if this is the right place. Uh, now we know that says problem five, right? Uh, so I'm hoping that perhaps uh, problem four, which is here, that's where it's coming from. And boom, there you go. The demand elasticity of gasoline is uh, the special symbol uh, 0 0.5, uh, which is where this come from. And he also said the sentence afterwards, uh, the supply elasticity of gasoline is 1.5. That's what's here. So in that case, this is what I also call successful case. Uh, let me go down and show you a couple of other examples. Uh, for example, uh, here, perhaps we can say, suppose the government destroys all of its purchased coffee, uh, but I don't remember much else. Let's say that's all I remember. I hit submit. Boom, there you go. Uh, that's the correct document. And then let's take a look at the data. Uh, this is a problem nine. Uh, let's see if we are having problem nine. Doesn't seem like problem nine is included, uh, but this B here, this part B here, uh, seems to be exactly where I selected the highlights. Uh, so boom, there you go. Uh, these couple of experiments, I think we have a successful case. Let's check out a couple of other examples. Let's say you're in this final problem 20, 2022, and then let me get the sentence here and increase in the manufacturer costs interchangeable cameras will increase market revenues, right? So that's a very particular sentence. Let's see if that gives us the correct document ID and the correct content. So boom, there you go. It says final 2022.pdf. And then in particular, this is the question number one, six point, true, false, uncertain and I think we have a correct location, right? An increase in the manufacturing cost, uh, da, 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 will increase the market revenue. So I would say this is the correct location. Pretty great so far. Let's check out another example. Let me do this one. You may assume Michelle finds it optimal to work at a capacity, so on and so forth. Uh, let's say that's what I remember. I hit submit. Let's see, final 2021.pdf, that's the correct PDF. Uh, and then here we are looking at, uh, this looks like it's a part B, it's an A point question. And let's see, 
So uh, here, indeed, we got it, right? Uh, you may assume that material finds it optimal to work at this capacity. So there you go. Hopefully, this demonstrates the use cases of Amazon Kendra, meaning that if you have multiple documents and you can't really remember where the information is coming from, that's precisely what Kendra will be helpful. It will rank the documents, give you the source, and then you can go from there. Hopefully you like this episode. Hopefully share some lights with you about how Amazon Kendra can be helpful. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.